Hey guys, take a look at this, um, these certain details that I've, um, uh, that I've written up here. Basically, uh, there's two parts. There's the area volume of the uh, throttle blades, uh, which, you know, in terms supply the motor. We all need that. Um, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, four throttles on a single carby or, you know, twin carbs where you're going to have eight of these or whether it's, you know, a, a turbo application with one big single throttle body like an AFI setup or even a naturally aspirated EFI set up with a throttle body. We all need to give, we all need to give a, a, a certain engine an area of volume, right? Um, within the throttle blades. Now, there are differences between EFI and carbureted, but anyway, um, and the second part, that's the area of volume. And the second part, I got the carb throttle blade size, right? This the Venturi body size and the booster that it naturally comes with out of the box, let's just say. So these are the carburetors I've used here as examples. And basically these carbs here, what I'm gonna talk about, are just like out of the box carbs that we all know about or, or you know, most of us guys are experienced with. And, you know, these are some of the carbs that I've used um, in my time or have known someone that, you know, within the workshops and things like that, that have used these carbs and there's certain outcomes and things like that that I remember. So, yeah, let's get started. Yeah. So if you've watched my previous video on how the 750 double pumper was a game changer on my 351 4B Cleveland, which it was, it was a big um, game changer. And um, basically, you know, you got to look at things. Um, why was it a game changer with those certain heads? And you know, there's a lot of key things that play um, that, that play a role. So if I go down here for for starters, if I look at the Venturi size that the body has, the 750 double pumper, it has a 1.375 inch Venturi, right? And the throttle blades is 1.686 inches right so that combination you know you got to look at things like that why was a game changer now you're probably saying what's this all about how's this relevant to you know what i'm trying to explain here now okay you look at certain things that have worked for certain combinations with certain parts on that combination right and now, look, the, most of the experience I've had with Cleveland's and whatnot is old school stuff, right? I can't talk about, you know, the latest and greatest stuff because that stuff's just too easy. It's floating around everywhere. Like people have just got, you know, the baddest and most expensive heads out there these days with, with a one-off matching intake for, for those given heads and, and, you know, blah, 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 so on. I'm talking about the old school stuff that everyone, you know, had to work with and play with and, and you know, to an affordable level. And I'm still sort of stuck with with all that gear, right? Yeah. So basically over the years with some of my experience in, you know, playing around with some of these carbs, especially with that made it to for the large style port heads. Now, I'll give you a rundown with what I'm trying to get here. And this is the way I look at things and interpretate things. So basically what I'm going to explain here is this, all this stuff here, I, it's, it's sort of all in my head, like as far as like a graph type of form, right? And what I do is just basic principles like that example that worked with me back in the days. I can apply a lot of these stuff to any given type of combo, you know what I mean, or, or, or application. So, you know, if it's drag racing or if it's, oh, I want straight and a bit of drag, or, you know, I just want down low power, or I've got big cubic inch, but I, you know, I, I still want it to rev, you know, and make power on the upper, on the upper end. So this here, the way I interpret uh, things, right i'll i'll share with you guys and you guys let me know you know if it makes sense to you guys all right let's get started here in what i want to explain basically there's two categories here the area volume provided uh, and feeding the engine 
that's required in any motor. And then down here, we got the carb throttle uh, blade size versus the Venturi body size with the boost that it naturally comes with out of the box, right? So now let's get started with this. How do we calculate this? So we calculate the area volume simply. Let's just say that's the butterfly, one of, one of the butterflies on your carb, okay, on your base plate. Basically, you do the radius of that size, okay, squared. So radius squared means that size times that size again it doesn't mean that size times two right and then you times that amount by pi which is 3.14 it's actually more like 3.14 blah 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 but let's just stick to you know being simple and then that result would equal your volume area okay and now in this instance we're just going to be talking in inches you can do this in anything in millimeters if you want you can do it in centimeters whatever you like we're doing it i'm going to do it here in inches all right so we're going to work out the volume area in square inches basically all right let's do an example so for an example a holly 750 which kicked ass on my old school clevo as you guys would know from that previous video let's look at one of the throttle blade sizes that a 750 double pump would come out with, which is 1.686 um, inches in diameter, okay? The radius of that is half, which is 0.843 times 0.843 again, which is squared, which equals 0 0.710 times pi, right? Equals 2.231. Now, that amount, you times by four butterflies, because there's four in one carb, okay? I'm giving a 750 double pumper has volume area of 8.924 square inches entering that motor. So that's first, all right? We know what area of volume we want to give any particular given motor, okay? And when we go down here later on, I'll talk about this, okay? We look at the Venturi size that that particular carburetor comes out with versus, uh, versus the uh, carb throttle blade size, okay? And there's a ratio there. And this ratio is very important, you know what I mean? This is pretty much old school, the way I've learned things. So these are just certain carbs that come out of the box with certain combinations that, you know, that have been around me and that I've learned and picked up, you know, valuable info. And this is just a guide. Like when I look at this, okay, I look at this as if, you know what I mean? Like I can draw it up as a graph and match things accordingly. You know, like a, basically like, like a simulation, right? So it's like if you, if you type in a certain figure, you match it up with certain combination ratios and I'll give you, you know what I mean, an outcome. Now, this is just my take. It's not, you know, like it's not proven or it's not, you know, a, 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 a you know, a, a, a all out professional uh, agreeing with this. But this is just with my experience that I've kicked ass with. And this is how I apply this, right, that worked with me with the 4V Cleveland and how... Um, you know, I've applied certain things with two V iron heads and I've had um, a lot of buddies around the workshops over the years, you know, like I'm talking a lot and I've seen all their, you know, their Holden V8s and their small block Fords and their, you know, Chevs, you know, 400 Chevs, 350 Chevs and I've seen all those guys use certain um, out-of-the-box carburetors with certain heads and certain, you know, street and strip combinations. So, I piece a lot of this info over all the years, and this is how I interpret things and match up certain carbs to certain applications. All right, let's get started with a couple of interesting points here, right? Now, let me explain this. Okay, 750, right? We know that it can feed the motor pretty much with that much, okay? Of volume area in square inches now if we step up a bit let's go to the 850 double pumper okay 
throttle, bar, throttle uh, blade sizes jump up dramatically. So the 750, 1.686 inches in diameter. The 850 double pumper has got a bigger base plate with bigger uh, throttle uh, blade size of 1.75 inch diameter. So if we do that, so the radius, which is half, you know, times that half again, which is that, then that times the pi equals that for one, then times four for four blades equals 9.616 square inches of volume area. Dramatic increase over its um, 750 of only 8.92, okay? Big increase. Now, what I find interesting is, if you guys would remember or go back, check it out, a couple of posts back when I talked about certain explanations with certain um, carburetors out there that's sort of uh, a sort of a, a misguided thing right a lot of guys with you know tough small blocks would run the 850 double pumper and naturally they think oh you know let's let's go 950 it's bigger right like you know the motor wants more or or you know the motor needs a change let's try a bigger carb and now if you paid attention on some of those posts that I'm talking about or posted up previously, the actual Holly HP series, the 950 CFM that they class it as, is a, has actually got the same body, the Venturi uh, body, as the main body I'm talking about, as a Holly 750, surprisingly, apparently. Okay, now I've never grabbed both, I've never flowed them, but apparently with all the professional info out there, right, and articles, apparently they are. Now, a lot of guys that have stepped up thinking, oh, let's go bigger carby, you know, let's ditch the 850, let's go 950. Now, take a look at this. They got the same throttle bore size, right? Okay, no worries. But in fact... They say that the 950 doesn't fly 950 CFM because it carries this body. Uh, sorry, don't worry about the BG, the Holly. It carries that uh, main body, okay? And now, by jumping up a size, they actually, well, most guys gain a bit. They, they gain, you know what I mean? They gain better signal. They, they you know, they gain uh, be, better down low, better throttle response and, and better horsepower all up by going to the 950, but it's not because they've stepped up a size, it's because really they've downsized it from that. Now I'll tell you, look at this. That has got the same opening, the 850 double pumper, as the 950, okay? But that body is in fact that body. Now if we go down here, I'll show you some other info about all this. The 950 HP 1.75 throttle blade size, but the Venturi body size is a 1.375 inch, which is the same as this guy down here, the 750 double pumper, okay? Now if I go down to the 850, yeah, throttle blade size is the same, but look at that bad boy's Venturi. Look at the, the main body on that is 1.562 Venturi. And, you know, and, and a matched booster accordingly. So that's why this carb doesn't actually perform well on those, you know, on those small blocks, which, you know, some guys out there complain about. And when they say that they step up to the 950, oh, yeah, I've gone a bigger carb. But in fact, they've gone a smaller carb in reality. Now, I don't know why all that is misguided info out there. You know what I mean? Because a lot of guys are complaining about that. But that's why they actually make a bit more power, get better throttle response and better down low power, right? You know, just better, you know, uh, uh, you know, compared to, to that guy. And now this is the ratio at the end of the day I'll, I'll, I'll get to. But um, yeah, so, so basically what's happening with that example that I've just pointed out is a similar thing that's happened with me back in the days when I've chucked on that 750 double pumper 
with its smaller throttle blade size and its matched uh, Venturi body accordingly with the booster that it comes out with. Okay, basically it's a similar thing. What's happened with me, how that has woken up, you know, my 4V headed Cleveland. That's what's happening with these guys when they're putting this 850 double pumper and then thinking they're stepping up to a bigger car, but in fact, they're, you know, stepping down really, which is waking up their, their combination. Very interesting point. Again, another interesting point, which was mentioned in a few posts ago, in those community posts that I put up, is the Barry Grand 750 Demon, right? Any of those old school Barry Grand carbs, they're all wet float, all right? And that's the difference between Barry Grant, what they did back then, and Holly, what they did back then. I'm not sure what Holly does now, okay, with all their flow figures and, and crap like that. But I'll give you an example why a lot of guys back in the days, and this happened with me, because I ran one of these to actually try and better or try and match this. And again, I failed and he went backwards, okay? Because little did I know, this is, you know, the beginning days of learning this stuff. So I'll give you an example of what's going on here with the Barry Grant. So the Barry Grant 750 CFM, right? Now you look at the throttle blade size, 1.687 inches in diameter. Very similar to that. Pretty much the same as the Holly uh, 750 double pumper, the 4150. Okay. You do all the calculations to calculate, you know, four butterflies. It's very similar. 8.93, 8 doesn't matter, 8.924. They're basically the same, okay? They're giving the engine. But hang on. A lot of guys say, and this is fact as well, that because these are wet flowed, the Barry Grand 750s actually flow more. These babies right here would probably flow more than an 850 more like a 900 cfm in true figures right now if you go down here okay let's talk about the throttle blade but let's see it's venturi it's main body size let's go to barry grant here there i've highlighted it right because it's not part of holly it's the only one here that's not holly so if you look here it's 750 all right there's the front of the throttle blade size but look at its venturi body it's 1.401 and with the booster, whatever booster it comes with out of the box, right? Let's go back to the 750 double pumper. What do you see here? A smaller, tighter Venturi, bigger, uh, I mean, better airspeed, better, uh, you know, uh, signal, better booster signal right there. You know what I mean? So this thing here would have better you know, atomization, you know, high, you know, velocity and things like that, right? So no wonder my old school 750 Barry Grant didn't perform well as the 4150. Another perfect example why I killed off the power running my 4V large port heads. So you got to look at these things and you got to put it in like a graph simulation type of um, thought, okay? And also, um, the same as my previous video, how I said the 830, I could only, you know, get it to run so hard with this car, with this, the 830 annular. And now you look at that, it's got a throttle bore size, very similar, pretty much the same as the 4150, right? But look at the, the look at the venturi the main body it's 1.562 okay so it's bigger than the barry grant okay the 1.4 and it's a way bigger venturi body than the 4150 750 double pumper so that's why this carb in my instance with my 4v large port heads this carb killed off the power and this carb killed off the power so don't even worry about sometimes what these guys are saying over here. Oh, it's 750. Oh, you know, 650, 950. You got to look at the whole picture and you got to look at this, you know, put it all in your head and you got to look at it as a simulation, like as a graph and match things accordingly. And, you know, at the end of the day, 
it's the application. You know what I mean? Like, what what are we doing here? Do we want street and strip? Do we want a little bit of both? You know, with some sacrifices on either end. Do we want only drag racing? You know what I mean? Where everything's just going to be on the upper end of RPM, and we we don't have to worry about down low cruising. Do we just want a street terror? You know what I mean? Do we want something to you know? start making power from 3000 rpm and and kick ass from from very low rpms and 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 work well all the way you know to the end it depends on the application and now i'll get to this because i've written here ratio so throttle blade size versus venturi body the main body ratio and i'll just explain a little bit on that so now this is how you're going to look at things right a 750 double pumper 41 uh, 4150 holly carb that's your throttle blade diameter versus the uh venturi body the main body of that size equals a ratio of 1.227 now this is how it works right the bigger the bigger um this figure is okay the more high speed air velocity type of carb it's going to provide, okay? But you need to know how to match this accordingly to, you know, the, the, the combination, how serious the combination is, the RPMs and the cubic inch, because everything's relevant, right, to, to what I'm talking about here. But um, now uh, let's say um, we go to the... Um, the 850 okay double pumper that ratio okay is 1.12 so see what i mean it starts dropping off so like i said the higher this figure the higher this figure is the better air speed type of carb you're going to create yourself with your you know what i mean your combination now see the 850 it's dropping off now let's move down to the 830 it drops off to one point o's right so see what i mean massive difference massive difference you know what i mean now if you go look at the 750 very grand all right let's look at the ratio of that 1.20 it's still lower than the 4150 750 double pumper but it's still in the one twos it's still not bad okay you look at a 950 okay with the combination ratio that that has it provides very similar figures of the 4150 750 double pump it's in the one twos but the high one twos okay it's actually very good so look at that okay now you go look at a 350 carb two barrel one and a half inch throttle ball uh, diameter over its venturi um, body main body size Look at that figure in the one twos, one in the high one twos, right? It's pretty much has a ratio of the 950 HP and the 750 double pumper. They're the ratios that are um, that will give you, you know, high speed air velocity type to your combination. They're the type of carbs, right? That's why 350 two barrel was, you know, placed on a lot of those six cylinders and you know things like that even even a very you know a uh, small v8 that wants to do towing you know what i mean that wants to kick off things real early like at one and a half two thousand rpms and you know carries it to five thousand rpm that's why a lot of those things were mated you know uh to, you know they were, they were matched with these type of carbies because look that will give down low you know big um um high speed air velocity you know great booster signal and that's why you know you'll use that carb on a six cylinder or a very small towing style v8 okay now ratio okay throttle blade side versus the venturi main body side and that's the ratio so you just you just you know you divide them to each other and you get that and basically what i've realized is the higher this figure the better style ratio it is in creating you know better carb signal you know booster signal uh, throttle response um you know uh, 
high speed, you know what I mean, air velocity, atomization. So basically the higher that figure is, um, yeah, the better. And now this is to a certain point. This is with combinations that, you know, I've been around and that I'm used to. And like I said, I'm old school, you know, I've been around a lot through workshops and, and a lot of buddies of mine, you know, over all, the, uh, over all them years and, you know, up until present. So I've sort of worked out what's what, you know what I mean? But um, basically the higher the figure, yeah, that's how it works. And, you know, and just my old school combo that I mentioned on my previous video just points that out because, you know, you look at my 750 double pumper that kicked ass and ran the numbers, it clearly outdid the 830, which is a 1.0 um, ratio figure, right? Well below that figure. And then the 750 Barry Grant is in the lower end of that, which is a 1.20. And that was just as bad as that. So that shows a lot. That proves that this little simulation that I got going here, right, works. Now this, my point to all this stuff here is that this can be applied, you know, to, to any combo, to any given combo with certain heads, certain cubic inches, if you follow things right, and if you sort of understand what's going on here with certain carb selections, and, and th these are the carbs that just come out of the box, right? These are factory style carbs with the boosters that they're gonna come out with out of the box. So we're just talking old school stuff, you know what I mean? Um, and you know, what's interesting also is if you look at the two barrel 350 carb, it has a tiny 1.5 inch um, diameter throttle um, um, bore, okay, or blade, over its small, tiny Venturi main body, right, with the booster that it comes out with, okay, and you look at that figure, all right, it's still in the 1.2s, 1.26, it's very, it, it's sort of like in between the 950, what it creates, and the 750, ratio okay and you know that further sh that that further shows that this this ratio figure is um is a good thing to go off because if you look at the two barrel 350 carbs you know they work well with you know uh mild six cylinders and hot six cylinder uh, combinations they were on you know towing v8s which needed to kick things off at practically idle to 4,000 RPM red line, right? And what carb creates that is a small carb with that ratio, right? So enough to flow, but enough to create some high speed air velocity, you know, good booster signal, you know, uh, throttle carb response. So yeah, so that's just further clar clarification in, in these ratio figures right, that you go off. And like I said, the lower the figure gets, the more bled off that air velocity, you know, that, that boost, the signal and, and all that business, the more bled off it becomes. But again, in saying all this, it's all relevant to what you're trying to do with what combination you got. You know what I mean? It doesn't sort of, don't care about the cubic inch or RPMs. It's all relevant to the purpose of what you're trying to do, right? As mentioned before. Now, what else is interesting? If we go back up here to the area volume, now you guys will probably know that over time, I'm, you know, I'm doing this um, NASCAR project, NASCAR 4V, with my Bud Moore intake, where I'm doing the tri-power. Now, Another interesting thing with that top, and now look, I know, that intake, you know what I mean? It's a rare piece, you know, it's it's sort of nostalgic, that's why I want to do it, right? It's unique, it's not going to be, you know, it's not, like, let's face it, it's not horsepower making, that intake, so I don't know what they were thinking back then, but I'm going to try and do my best to enhance and to do everything to sort of wake up that induction, right? So I, did, I need to do a lot of mucking around and, and thinking and, and working out. But let's look at this, the tri-power, right? So I'm gonna be running three of those carbs spread out across the entire intake, okay? 
Now, what better carbs than the 350? And three of them with a ratio of that. So we know they're all tight Venturi main bodies, okay? Small throttle ball. So this carb as a single unit is a very high airspeed, high airspeed creating type of carb. I'm gonna be running three of them across the plane okay perfect so for a large port four v head because they're only baby 1.5 um uh, throttle bore and blades okay but if we look at what volume area they supply a badass combination and this you know i'm gonna give it a shot it's gonna rev and, and the whole deal right so if we look at that okay um if we do that calculation the radius of 1.5 inch is that 0.75 inches times by that again which is you know radius squared equals that amount times pi equals 1.766 for each throttle times six of them because you know two barrels there's going to be six it's basically a six shooter it gives me a volume area volume in square inches of 10 0.596 now let's see if that's enough volume to feed good horsepower if we come down to the 1050 dominator and we know if you run a single dom on a small block you can create power right it's enough to feed to feed a, a adequate air right if we look at that it's 12 and a half so we're getting up there 10 and a half square inches is way more than the 750 it's way more than the 950 all right, let's go 850 double pumper. Wow, it's even more than the, than the uh, 850 double pumper, sorry. It's more than the 830 annular. Okay, it's more than the Barry Grant, which apparently flows 900 CFM, wet flow. It's more than that. So see what I mean? Three of these babies have got more than enough volume area to feed a badass combination you're basically you know in between what an 850 or 950 well, let's just say what an 850 950 and you know between the 1050 and it's more than enough you know what i mean to you know feed six to seven hundred horsepower let's just say right for instance yeah so basically you know i look at this this is what I go off and I make judgment on what carb should go on what combination and for what purpose because you know the purpose is very important in this selection and now um, this is basically like a simulation that I've laid out for you guys so it's basically the way I look at things and interpretate things and now if someone, like for an example, I'm not going to sit here and name, you know, a million different combinations. But if someone was to tell me they got a certain, certain cubic inch and they got a certain um, goal, let's just say what they want to do with this motor for a certain application. And if they were to say to me, what do you think which carb, right, would be the best? Now, going off my experience and what these carbs actually do to certain combinations with certain heads and certain cubic inches and rpms and whatnot i can sort of point out out of the box what's a carb for that particular combination what that person is asking anyway it doesn't matter i'm not trying to blow my own horn here but another thing i want to um, mention is that's why these days, compared to back then, right, people just playing around with old school stuff out of the box, okay, there's a lot of carb, custom carb manufacturers now and experts. So what happens now is everyone is doing a custom carb. So all these things here can be altered further than trying to, you know what I mean, pick in-betweens right for any type of combo so now basically you know there's so many things out there that you can play around with and you can build the perfect carb for your application or for your motor so let's just say for for example you know if someone 
um, you know, one of the 750, the carb guy would ask that client, now, what are you doing? What's your intentions? You know, blah, blah, blah. What's your combination? So that guy's just not going to give him a 4150 out of the box. He's going to build a tailored um, made 750 for that person. So he might say, oh, you know what? You know what you really need? You really need, uh, you know, a 750 main body, right? But with a certain booster, okay? And with a certain, um, you know, throttle bores. So there's a lot of mix and match. Yeah, so anyway, the and custom carb boosters, world right? has basically taken off and now everyone's building a tailored built carburetor for their application. And that's just where we're at now with what's, you know, happened in the past and what's everyone learned and, you know, things like that. So now you can go out and build yourself the perfect carb. You can mix and match things. And that's what, you know, that's what we were lacking, especially back in the days. There, there wasn't even, you know, a handful of guys that, um, you know, used to, uh, build, you know, the perfect, you know, custom and calibrated carbs for, for any given combo. Now all these manufacturers are doing that, you know what I mean? And all you got to do is, you know, uh, just state what you want and what your application is and, um, you know, your combination and all that. And these guys now can, can basically, you know, talk you through it and, and build you the perfect carb. Um, you know, whether it be a certain main body, certain throttle bore size, you know, certain booster styles. And, you know, if we're talking about boosters, it's the, a booster is basically the, the, a, a Venturi within the main body's Venturi. And there's different styles, right? Like a straight leg stock style booster is one thing and then you can get yourself you know the lower drop leg style boosters which basically drops your little venturi booster down further into the main body's venturi you know the tight point and basically picks up more air speed but um yeah basically you know what i mean uh yeah boy by doing that it can create high speed velocity within that intake but it could also come at a sacrifice of reducing um uh, flow you know what i mean um cfm rating as well so you know you, you got to be careful it's not just a matter of oh yeah i want to you know create more airspeed for whatever application it is and you know you can't just say, oh, yeah, it's going to do that, but it might hurt something else, right? It might, you know, blockade some of its potential CFM rating that it should, you know, provide or whatnot. So, yeah, at the end of the day, you know, that's where we're at. If you want to go all out now, it's, you know, you can basically think of a, fantasy carburetor and it can get built for you.